All right, guys, we're here at RK Front Headquarters. Right now, we're putting together this uh, CNC machining, this cabinet. We got the melamine going down. And today, we're going to show you guys the cocktail tables. Which is those guys right there. They're getting, they're getting CNC machined. We talk about this all the time, and, and the main idea is to be able to show people what we actually do, how it's done, and uh, how the CNC process goes down. So, it takes about five minutes, but we're going to do the little video here so you guys can see what's going on. And you can see all the etch marks that are made for the cabinets. I got to stay out of the way so we don't get run over. <laughs> but, you can see all the... Uh, the bit going down and just scarring the top of the mount, the, the uh, cabinet. And you can see it right there. So this, this is how the, the cocktail tables are made. We're going to come back in a bit and show you guys how that's put together. We have a, a table over here with a couple mega caves going down. We have a cocktail table we're putting together here. We have a couple parts laying around. We're just going to put some stuff together. and. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a bit of all right. Let's go back to this thing really quick. And you can see there it's been etched out. So once the process of the CNC is once it gets etched out, all the images start getting carved out. What we then do, what it then does, is that it cuts out each board individually, and and we pretty much just pick it up. So it's a, pretty much like a 3D printer. But it's a CNC machine, it just cuts it all out. See that? Nope. Oh, got a lot of glare there. You see what it's already done? process usually it takes about five minutes to complete and it's going along pretty good you can see that this seems like a bus coming at you <laughs> See the little die, the die tool? It's gonna start going down now. It's making this, the speaker holes. Right now it's cutting out all the side panels. I'm gonna come back to that. So it's cutting out all the side panels that we use, which are these guys here. All the little speaker holes. That's what goes underneath the control panels. You can see this guy here. So right now it's cutting out all the little vent holes. And it pretty much cuts everything out. All the little, all the little holes. Every little angle, every little cut. It does it all, even the, the service door. And some some machines some machines require a coin door, so we we cut out a coin door for these guys. And right now that's what's going down. We have one of the machines getting cut out with a coin door. So we got we have um, that guy getting finished up. That guy's going to a gas station. He's going to a uh, a gentleman that's uh, Mr. Pistolas is what we call him. And uh, he's gonna be be really pleased with this machine. The fresh cut machine. It's really awesome. Check it out. So you can see the coin door there. The coin door is getting cut out. And what we do is that we have notching. 
notching within the side of the board. So what the notching does is that it allows us to, to put the, the cabinets together in a stronger way. So we have, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm actually gonna cut while I'm trying to film here. I'm gonna show you guys what we do. So we take a, a furring strip like this, it's a regular furring strip, we stick it on our machine, cut it down, We're going to show, show you guys how we put this thing together. So the furring strip, the furring strip goes inside the notch, which then allows us, it actually goes in about, about an eighth of an inch. So what that allows us to do is to stick the furring strip inside, and it, it allows the cabinet to have a stronger, a way stronger uh, uh, hold. So it's not just, you know, and we, we glue these guys together, we nail them together with some bread nails, one and a quarter inch bread nails and it's really, really nice and strong. So, I'm gonna show you guys the other side. So what we do is we, we first strip it and then we, we stand it up and uh, we nail it all together really good. So, we're gonna have another piece go in here along the, the entire length. And then we're gonna, we're gonna finish it up. So, I'm gonna show you again with the inside inside of our machines look like when they're finished up. So on this guy, you can see the notch here in the edge. That's a finished off machine. It's completely notched out and it's all secured along all four corners. Inside and out, bottom base, inside walls, the whole way through. We leave a little hole up in there for the extension cord. So, you know, another, another thing that's really important is the the control panels. We want to make sure that these things are really sturdy and heavy duty. So we put a support inside, on the inside corners, and the bottom of your control panel so you can lift this guy and have no problems and not have it break off. The other thing that we do is we nail, we nail the inside of our cabinets for support. So it's all glued together and nailed together. And those things aren't going anywhere unless you drop it or roll it down the stairs like a couple of Oh, it's happened a couple times, I guess. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go back to the process, show you guys how that's going. Feel good? There it is. We've got some coin doors kicked out. We got some bases. Whoop. So, right on. So, this process is done. What we're gonna do now is pick them up. It's almost like a giant baking sheet. We're gonna pick these guys up and throw another one of the sheets on and uh, and keep her going, finish her off. So anyway, we wanted to show you guys a little bit of the process that we do here and kind of go over all the little details and things that we do. And we still have some of the tops that we didn't show you guys. We have some tops here. Some of the tops for that, where the monitors go in. That. So we wanted to show you guys a little bit of what we do, how we do it. Um, I know it's always helpful to really make a decision knowing that you're going to make, you're going to get a machine that's made in the USA, made by real Americans, and uh, and it's it's made heavy duty. Uh, and, again, and again, it is truly CNC machined and, and uh, it's made by hand. It's not made in China. China made, China great, as we always say. So uh, this is Dan Bonilla with Arcade Funcade. We're cutting out. If you guys want to check out our machines, check us out on arcadefuncade.net. And... Uh, if you're watching, thanks for watching, guys. Obviously, thanks for watching. And if you want to, you want to give us a call, have any questions, if you have any questions of, of any sort, uh, give us a call at 402 641 4482 and or send us an email at arcadefuncade at gmail.com. Take care of yourselves and have a good day, guys.